What's up, cooking squad? It's your girl Tay, and I am back with another cooking video. Y'all, so today we are going to be making some steak and potatoes. Yes. So right now I have me some steaks that I cleaned off really good, and now I am just patting them dry, getting them ready to be seasoned up. So I'm just going to season up the steak with some onion powder, some garlic powder, some salt and some pepper and I'm going to do that on both sides and then we are going to marinate our steak for a few hours. So I have this brown sugar bourbon marinade sauce that I'm going to be putting on the steak. And I like the fact that this bag has the little easy tear tab on it to make it easy for pouring. Um, so I'm just going to put my steak in a Ziploc bag and then I'm going to pour some of the marinade on one of the steaks. And then I'm going to take my other steak and put it in there and pour the rest of our marinade sauce. So now I'm just making sure the steak is nice and coated with the marinated sauce and then we are going to put it in the refrigerator for a few hours. So now we are working on our potatoes. I have some kosher salt here that I am sprinkling on the potatoes and rolling around in the salt. And then I'm going to cover the potatoes with some foil, which you can use olive oil first and then put the salt, but I forgot the olive oil, y'all. But anyway, we're gonna put these in the oven for about an hour or so, or until they are nice and soft. So now we are heading back over to our steak that we marinated for a few hours and I'm just going to take the steak and place them in the air fryer and then I'm going to put it on 400 degrees and we are going to put these in the air fryer for about 20 minutes. So now we are going to start working on our cheese sauce for our potatoes. I'm going to melt about two tablespoons of butter, add some heavy whipping cream, about a cup to a cup and a half. And I'm going to add in some sour cream, about two tablespoons of that. And I'm going to add in some Parmesan cheese along with some sharp cheddar cheese. And then we are going to give this a good stir and let this get nice and warm. And then we're going to add some seasonings to our cheese sauce. I'm adding in some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some seasoning salt, of course. And we are just going to give that a good stir. So now that our cheese is all nice and melted, we are just going to put that to the side. And we are going to grab our other skillet. We're going to add about a tablespoon of butter. We're going to let that melt. And then we are going to add in some spinach, some fresh spinach, of course, and some cooked shrimp, which that was all they had in the store. I'm going to add some seasonings, onion powder, garlic powder, some paprika. And I'm going to add in some minced garlic. And we're just going to give our Spinach and shrimp, a good stir. We're gonna let our spinach wither down some. I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice because I like to have lemon on my shrimp. So that's what I'm adding on here. And it has the little hole on here, the little easy pour where it don't pour out, where you can sprinkle the lemon juice out. And I like that part about it. So our shrimp is just about done. I added a little bit more paprika. That's why you see the color change on there. We're gonna sit that to the side. 
So y'all, our steak is done. They are looking good. They look like they just came fresh off the grill, honey. They are looking so yummy right now. So guys, our potatoes are just about done. I am going to add our toppings to it. I'm going to add some cheese and then we're going to put our spinach and shrimp on top. As you can see, this potato was giving me a hard time to open up, but I just opened it up like that. And I'm going to add some cheese sauce on our baked potato. And then we're going to add some spinach and shrimp on top of that. And then we are going to add just a little bit more cheese sauce. And then we're going to add some cheddar cheese on top of that. And then we're going to add some bacon. And then we're going to sprinkle it with a little bit of parsley. So y'all, this is our finished product. That brown sugar bourbon marinade was so good. And I just paired this with some steamed broccoli that I steamed in, in the microwave with some salt, pepper, and breadcrumbs. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you may be notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.